Hello everyone and welcome to another Benz video. We are back here in Hampton, Virginia at the Benz where our prices are $1.59 per pound unless you get over 20 pounds and then it's $1.29 per pound, which I was able to do today. Uh, you can see here I picked a, a what I thought was a bin that no one else was at and it was already pretty empty so it would have been easy to get to the bottom because that's what I like to do when I am shopping at the bins. This is very mob wife here but it was not a good brand. It was vintage but it also wasn't a good material so I just left that behind and this is me. That's Boohoo Man. I don't really pick up Boohoo unless it's like a collab. Uh, I had just haven't really had success with that brand. It's also fast fashion, so I'm just going to go ahead and pass on that. This is Houndstooth. It also had, like, I th I'm sure this is a team of some sort, probably a college team, or maybe it's just an interesting elephant scarf. I have no idea. But I was trying to get to a bend that wasn't being shopped at because it was very crowded this day despite it being like a monday normally i'm used to it being this crowded on saturdays i don't know what it was about this monday but it was full of people this is an interesting little vintage vest and i thought this was kids at first but a kid's vest probably wouldn't have a, a giant brooch attached to it so i did take the brooch off because i was interested in reselling that and not <laughs> not the little vesty thing so i put that in my cart you can see my cart is already full of books because that's how i roll here at the bins i spend at least two hours in the books if there are four books bins and like i said i thought that this was a bin that no one was going to be at but this lady decided that because i was here she needed to be here which this is actually how most bins are it's normally very like shoulder to shoulder elbow to elbow like people like grabbing stuff at the same time you're grabbing it or pushing stuff onto you. Uh, the Hampton Benz is literally one of the only Benz I've been to where it's not been like this most of the time. I, like I said, I'm not quite sure what was going on today, but that's normally why I come on either a Monday or a Tuesday is because it's less crowded. Uh, and again, I can only speak for this Benz. Most other Benz I've been to, like the ones in California or the ones in North Carolina, a lot more busier but that's because um, there are more rotations I, I think I mentioned this in almost every Ben's video because of the fact that I do make these videos um, people are interested in coming to this one um, there aren't any rotations in clothing uh, at this Ben's so just to give you that information now you saw me put up a bra onto the handle and that is because this year one of the types of items I am trying to learn more about or resell more often is bras and that is because last year I did the same thing with swimsuits and that has turned out well for me and I'm trying to be more familiar with bra bands as well the ones that I really only know are you know Victoria's Secret and Soma and that's honestly it <laughs> so I haven't really found a whole lot of bras that are in good condition here at the bins. This is Karen Scott. And the reason why I'm considering it so hard here is it's a full button front dress with a tie wrap waist. And so the style is there. It's also, uh, now that I'm thinking about it, it is a larger size. It wasn't like a size smaller or medium. So I probably could have gotten it, but I did put it on my cart to look it up later and the comps weren't really good. So that's why I decided to go ahead and put it back. Uh, it looks like I'm putting it to the side, but I do actually, yeah, you see here, put it on my cart. That's how I normally do things that I need to look up so they don't accidentally end up in my basket and I end up buying them is I put them on the handle of the cart just to remind me, hey, uh, you need to look at this. This is a Nike piece. I thought about getting it, but the swoosh and the uh, print on the back that has the size or inside that has the size and stuff all that is like super cracked and faded so the overall piece is in good condition but the graphics were not in good condition so i went ahead and passed on that that's per hollister i tried hollister um because it's a mall brand that for a while there because of the y2k style was having a little bit of a renaissance but it is not anymore at least for me maybe the depop girlies are still doing a good job with it but for me it seems to be American Eagle, Abercrombie and & Fitch, and J. Crew seem to be 
the brands, the mall brands that I have continued, and Express and Old Navy. Those are the ones I do well with. Hollister, not so much. I think it's because maybe their stuff's too slim fit. I don't know. Uh, this is some kind of fishing shirt. Oh, it's a Jesus shirt. Sorry, I was trying to see if it had a date on it. It did not, so that got thrown to the wayside. <laughs> you know, um, vintage religious shirts can do actually very well, especially if they've got like a, a good graphic like that does. That would it, people who have faith and then you know that also like to fish. That would be a great shirt for them. But because it wasn't vintage, I set it aside. This I loved the pattern, and it's green. But it didn't have any size to it at all. And I couldn't tell if this was vintage or if it was fast fashion. I think this is actually a vintage piece. I have a slight regret not getting this. But because it should have a brand with it. And I didn't have a measuring tape with me to see what size it would be. As to whether or not like I could just sell it based on style. I just decided to go ahead and pass. I also just have a ton of inventory right now. So I was like... Mm. I'll leave it go. It reminds me, I definitely need to put <laughs> measuring tape back into <laughs> back into my bag. This is a Nike golf piece. This is another item that had one a like some kind of company logo on it that wasn't like a good company logo. It was just like some random you know construction logo, um, but it also had uh, crunchy armpits. So that went to weigh a lot of sheets again today. Sheets and blankets and underwear <laughs> which is you know what you're gonna dig through at the bins I personally don't wear gloves but that's because I want to feel the material um, the another fishing shirt probably came from the same person who had the religious shirt um, but again this one had some condition issues and so I threw that to the side now unfortunately that is a probation officer shirt this is a curtain that the bin across from me, like the set of bins across from me that that lady is pulling out with a cart, um, that actually was the bin I should have gone to and the bin I went to after this one um, because it had a bunch of new tag stuff, which you are going to see in the hall <laughs> because I don't know. I don't know if like a Dillard's was just pulling all of their old stock that hadn't sold or if... Um, an older individual with a shopping addiction passed away and so all their stuff got donated, but that is what is in most of my haul, is what I dig out of that bin. So this is a pair of Levi's, but as you can see here, while these have been professionally hemmed, they have been hemmed. So I just go ahead and pass on these jeans. Normally I pick up most a lot of Levi that I find at the bins just because it's so expensive <laughs> at the retail locations. This is a tree skirt. Absolutely gorgeous crocheted tree skirt with this big old ruffle on the end. I do end up picking this up because it is in good condition. I just need to re-thread some of, re-weave some of the little ends in. But otherwise, it's in great shape. That one little over there that I need to re-stitch back in is, a, is really the only flaw on this. This is a massive tree skirt too, like an absolutely massive tree. But I have had success selling these vintage crocheted tree skirts. I have picked them up before. Normally these are gone, so super happy to pick this up. Somebody spent a lot of time on this. Like that ruffle flounce is not easy to make in my personal opinion. This was just weird. I have no idea what this is. I still have no idea what this is. It does not have a brand in it at all. It's got ammo beer, which isn't a real thing. It has a Jack Daniels patch on it. This independent patch is a is a skate brand. Uh, they make uh, skateboard trucks. Do you need to know that? Probably not. If you find vintage independent stuff, that sells really good money. And I put that aside to try to like Google lens it. I was not successful, so I ended up throwing that back. Just because there was literally nothing on it. There was no like material tag. There was no back tag. So I don't know if that was just something thrown together. This is a pair of shorts that is barely shorts anymore in my personal opinion. There is nothing to these shorts. It's all just skin at this point. So I threw that back. 
I'm sure somebody would have rocked that. I mean, you know, 18 year old Bob would have definitely rocked that. And my dad would have been so upset about it, but <laughs> not anymore. I like to be more covered now. It's just so funny how that changes as you, as you age. I mean, sometimes it goes the opposite way. Sometimes you want to show more skin when you're older, and that's, that's perfectly fine, too. But that's not how I've gone. This is Bugle Boy. Bugle Boy, again, I've talked about on this channel. Um, they are a vintage-only brand. They folded, I think, in 2001. Uh, so I do try to pick up some Bugle Boy. Now, this was just Polly. This is a, kind of like a fast fashion brand. But I really like the style. It was cute. So I put it over to the side to look it up. I did throw it back because the comps weren't good. It was like 10 bucks. Uh, you know, it's the bins. I could have still sold it. And like I said, the style was cute. But I threw it back and I know it didn't end up in the trash. Because literally as soon as I threw it back, uh, you know, one of the one of the younger thrifters picked it up immediately and put it in her cart. So I know it's going to a good home. It's not going to get thrown away. <laughs> I figured something like that would get picked up. I, I do have a little bit of regret that I didn't just keep it because it is cute. Um, this is, it just felt nice, um, but I went ahead and passed on it because the brand wasn't good. I think it was like Style & Co or something. This is another pair of Levi's. We got some booty shorts. We got a button fly. These are a pair of 501s. And because they're a pair of 501s, despite them being a little booty tie, like short, I'm going to go ahead and get them because these shorts are like super easy to photograph and list. And we are getting into short season anyway. So definitely picked those up. Again, if I wanted to buy these shorts at the retail location right next to this bins, I would have to pay $9 for them. Cool. This is Old Navy. Again, something I kind of like the style, but I just went ahead and passed on it. If you're wondering what happened to my arm, uh, that is... Oh, this is a Nike piece. This is Stanford, which is a university. These are a really nice pair of track pants with the side zip, probably for like basketball. Uh, they were just in good shape and it was a good size. So I went ahead and picked those up. But back to my arm, uh, we had a little bonfire uh, the night before. And I was trying to, what we do with our burn pit is we gather up all the limbs in the yard that have fallen because uh, my partner lives in a heavily wooded area and you know burn them when once the pile gets too big and I was trying to wrestle a very large stick into the fire pit and unfortunately my puppy Eileen tried to help me <laughs> and so she pulled on it and it was a y-shaped log that was about the width of a baseball and so she pulled one end as I was walking with it and I tripped over the other end and then the third end whacked me super hard in my arm so that was fun <laughs> uh i this is me looking at some pants uh, i don't think those had a brand in them that's why i left them to the side this is a pair of o'neill shorts but they had too many stains on them so i left those i do pick up surfwear brands at the bins because they do sell for me they don't sell for a whole lot but they do consistently move for me especially now as we're getting into the warmer weather this little Care Bear shirt uh, is a youth size large. Donna, if you're watching this video, this is for Freya. Hopefully it fits her. If it doesn't fit her, oh well. I'm sure that I could just donate that, redonate that if it doesn't fit her. But I saw Grumpy Bear there and thought it would be cute on her. Especially since she literally makes that face sometimes. So that's for her if she wants it. This is Old Navy and this is new with tags. It is a jumper, romper. I think it's a romper or a jumper. I think it's a jumper if it has long legs and a romper if it has short legs. Don't quote me on that. But because it was newest tags, I picked it up and it's black and I have a good luck selling black stuff. And yeah, so that's the end of this bin. Not a whole lot here, but I am eventually going to make my way to that other bin and I'm going to give you to other Bob now so she can show you the haul to that bin. But this is a BB Dakota moto jacket. I totally would have picked that up if it wasn't uh, faux leather and completely falling apart. Welcome to the haul y'all. Sorry I'm coming at you with wet hair but I'm trying to film this before going to a doctor's appointment and it is raining outside so it's never had an opportunity to dry because I've been going back and forth 
you don't need to know that. Let me show you what I got up at the bins. First thing is this beautiful Sag Harbor coat. I actually picked this up because I hoped it would fit, but it did not. It is an eight petite, I think. Yes, it's an eight petite. So it fits actually great everywhere, but the arms. It is too short in the arms for me, but I love this thing. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is a wool blend, like perfect blazer. Uh, these vintage blazers normally do really well for me. The louder the plaid, normally the better the sale. So even if it doesn't sell on whatnot, I know I can sell it. And that is because everything you are going to be seeing in this haul will be up for sale on whatnot. It's $2 starts. It'll be at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 4 p.m. Pacific on Thursday. So hopefully I'll see you there. Miss Moxie will also hope to see you there because I always show her at some point during the live because she is with me anytime I, I'm in this room. So there we go. I have two hats. Now these actually are from a different haul, but I finally cleaned them. <laughs> uh, I found these when I thrifted with Taylor. Uh, this is Bear Paw, I think is the brand. Um, Jack Wolfskin. I'm so sorry, but it's clean now. I don't know why I said Bear Paw. It's Jack Wolfskin. It is just, you know, a basic little hat like this. I probably should have just worn a hat so that way you guys couldn't tell my hair was super wet, but oh well. Those she said were selling for like $15, $20. And then the next hat is, you know, Washington Commanders, but their previous logo. And this is a seven and one eighths size. So this will not, oh no, this will fit me. Never mind. So seven and one eighth size. Uh, this was very dirty. As you can see, it is not very dirty anymore. I have cleaned it. It is still a little discolored inside, but barely but I will pick up hats at the bins because they're super cheap because you weigh them and also most people don't want to deal with cleaning them. So I will do that because I have those little baseball cap buddies and those things work awesome. <laughs> Just stick them in your dishwasher, you're good to go. I also picked up some plush at the bins which never happens mostly because like I said there are people that regularly pick up plush and plush just like the clothes once it comes out that's all that you're going to get for the day. Uh, I found Build-A-Bear. Yay! I saw the little the little heart sticking up. I was like, help me! And so I picked him up and they are new with tags. So I thought that was awesome. This is Little Honey Cub. So I'm guessing you could have like dressed him in some way. But I picked him up. I also picked up, I'm sure some people are going to roll their eyes at me. Where did it go? I also picked up a Beanie Baby. I know these aren't worth anything, but it's so cute and it still has this little tag and the little heart protector. Remember when that was a thing people did all the time? I know these aren't really worth anything anymore, but you know, for less than a quarter, I figured I'd pick them up. If it doesn't sell on whatnot, then he will sell on eBay. I have sold some of my old Beanie Babies from, you know, when I was a kid and they do consistently sell if they're in like this new condition uh, for around six to seven dollars. So after shipping, you make a buck or so. But he's so cute. He's just so cute. I couldn't leave him behind. And then this I thought was just really cool. I did not see any of these at all available for sale anywhere. I saw one of his friends, um, the T-Rex, but this is from the 80s. This is a dino dude. It is a posable dinosaur, or supposed to be posable. Oh, yep, I feel the little wires in here. So it's a posable dinosaur from 1987. It's the Triceratops. You can't take his glasses off, which is interesting. But uh, I saw the T-Rex that doesn't have, it's not new with tags, selling for like 20 bucks. But I did not see one of him. So I figured I would give it a try because look at him. Look at how amazing he looks. <laughs> but again, it's from, oh, it's Dino Snores. Dino Snores. Maybe that's what I need to look up. Uh, Editing Bob will look this up and then put a comp here if I figure out what this is actually worth. But yeah, this will be up and whatnot. It doesn't matter. I just thought that this was amazing. It's a bodacious dude from 1987. <laughs> I thought that was great. Uh, this is an eyelash scarf. That's what this little feathery material is. Uh, it is also brand new with tags. The brand is Accessory, but I picked it up because it's new with tags and eyelash 
this eyelash style just sells well for some reason. I have never been able to hold on to anything that was eyelash style. So there is that. And also it's new with tags, so why not? Speaking of, that's what I'm going to show a lot of to you now. A lot of mature brand stuff. Um, but it's all new with tags and it's all larger sizes. So I figured I couldn't, I couldn't lose with that, especially at the bins. This is special. It is a size extra large. As I said, it is new with tags. The original retail was $56. As I said, everything was marked down. So I don't know if this was a clear out from a retail location or if this was like, again, somebody passed, but it is just a button front, a short sleeve button front. It is a like knit Jersey material with a little color pop pocket down there at the bottom, size extra large. This is that uh, Old Navy romper that I found and it is an extra large as well. It's black, it has uh, some smocking, yeah, this is smocking. So it has uh, smocked side panels, I'm guessing for movement and ease and I am not even showing this, the, that's the back. It has a smocked back, oh my God. There we go. There's the front. I am, I have not had coffee yet this morning, so forgive me. I don't drink coffee before I go to my doctor because otherwise my blood pressure will be too high because I have white coat syndrome, so. And he will yell at me. But this is a linen blend as well, so there is that. And again, more information that you really need to know. Don't worry, I'm not sick. It's just my annual checkup, so don't worry about me. Uh, we have... Allison & Co. Again, not a brand I would normally pick up, but it is new with tags and it is a basic button front and it's a size extra large, long sleeve, some nice bright colors. We have an Alfred Dunner Stunner here. Again, new with tags. <laughs> if it wasn't for the fact that I've had such great luck selling this brand, I probably wouldn't have picked all this stuff up, but I do. And this is a size 20. It is a green full zip. It does have some padded shoulders, which could be removed, I guess, if they wanted to. Got the banded bottom, lots of embroidery in the front, all that floral embroidery, very granny core there. This is silk, another Alfred Dunner piece. The pastels. This is a size 18, again, new with tags. This is giving me very 80s vibes. Oh, no, not not 80s because one this doesn't have shoulder pads and two this has like a, a a stylized peter pan collar i don't know yeah i saw it was 100 percent silk i was going to pick that up for sure we have corduroy this is pin cord this is rebecca malone woman and also new with tags and it is a 1x it also has like the pin tucking in the front and in the back so it is a it's a needle cord or pin cord, whichever one of the two you want to call it. And then it also has pin tucks as well. And this is very trippy. It's like giving 90s does 70s here to me. We have Norton McNaughton. This is a XL, bright red button front, short sleeve button front. Uh, we have an extra large Baxter and Wells. I picked this up because I sold that Rebecca Wells or Rebecca Malone um, cardinal piece really quickly. And this also has cardinals on it. It only has, no, it does. It has both cardinals, male and female, except they have them stylized to where they have the, the female ones have the red head and the red tail, um, which female cardinals can have. Uh, it just depends, like it ranges from either like a really muted brown, like tan color, all the way up to like a rosy, pinky red color. It just depends on the bird. You don't need to know that. But anyway, found this. It's a vest, extra large. It's more wintry style because obviously, but it's got snowflakes and stuff. So we're going out of that season, but it's new with tags, so I picked it up. This I picked it up. Uh, it's shenanigans. It's extra large. It is also new as well there is the size stripe i picked this up because i have literally the same thing in my store right now in a size medium so all i have to do if it doesn't sell and whatnot is to add another size to it so i was like sure why not it both of them are new with tags or new another alfred dunner center this is a size 20 and it is a flannel with shoulder pads so, so i guess you could cut those out if you wanted to 
but it's a size 20 flannel, new with tags. So there is that. And if you give me a second, I got to go downstairs and get the rest of the stuff because I just showed you all of the new with tag stuff. And I need to get all the stuff that I just washed. Hello again. Uh, so I went downstairs to pick up the rest of the stuff because again, I did find over 20 pounds at the bins this day, which was a really good day. Um, but that's because I picked up all the new with tag stuff. And this is one of the other items. This is like a cape shirt. I don't know, it's stitched here, but it's Star Wars. The Last Jedi. This is from Disney. Uh, it actually says Disney on there. And this is a women's size large, which is why it fits me. I guess you could wear like a sports bra with this or, you know, a bralette or something. But it is a women's size large. I just thought it was interesting. And I've never seen anything like that, so I picked that up. This is beautiful. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to show this better on the whatnot. But I don't know the brand, other than I looked up the RN number and it says this was sold at Dillard's. And I say I don't know the brand because it's too stylized of a tag. I can't tell. But it's a dress. It's a button front dress. Look at how wild this is. This is giving Miss Frizzle for sure. And it's got these beautiful, like, fluffy sleeves. It's totally button front. It has this, like, little flounce ruffle at the bottom. I just thought this thing was absolutely gorgeous. And it is a 1X. So not an XL, a 1X, so it's plus size. I just thought this was absolutely beautiful. Definitely giving Miss Bristle vibes. And I didn't want it to languish at the bins because it's gorgeous. <laughs> This is also a uh, women's 1X as well. Oh no, this is a women's XL. It is a Columbia button front in this great pattern. So I picked that up. That had to be washed for sure because it had some yellowing around the collar. It does not have that anymore. I didn't pick up very much men's today. <laughs> if you can't tell, this is Quicksilver, men's size medium. I will pick up, like I said, the surfboard brands when I find them because they sell for me on eBay pretty quickly. This is another, this is a linen rayon blend. It's an extra large and it's country wear casual. So it's a vintage piece, but y'all know how I love my linen and it's green. It's like this kind of green teal color and it's got oyster shell uh, buttons as decorations. It has some pin tucking in the front. It's just a beautiful like 90s sleeveless dress especially in a larger size. I thought that was gorgeous and y'all know how I feel about green. This is American Eagle, the soft and sexy, soft, sexy, and lush in a size large by American Eagle. I just like the way this looked. Another Disney piece. Uh, this is Disney Parks and it's another women's size large so that both of these pieces probably came from the same person. We got a purple Minnie Mouse piece and purple people love purple. So, you know, I picked that up. This is an extra large Sag Harbor piece. I picked this up because it is a floral button front and a larger size. Uh, and I have good luck selling those. This I picked up, I have not done the research on this, but I picked this up for nostalgia reasons. I will put like eBay comps over here for it. It is a Barnum and ba Ringley Brothers and Barnum and Bailey t-shirt circus t-shirt it's a men's size extra large and it is from their last hurrah so in 2017 um, because of laws regarding animal welfare and animal rights Barnum and Bailey I think stopped existing um, so now if you want to see a circus you have to go see Cirque du Soleil or something like that I remember a lot of fond memories seeing the circus as a kid and this is from 2017 so it's the final farewell it has the big tiger on the front and Circus Extreme on the back with all of the, the tour dates because it doesn't exist anymore and because it's a men's size extra large and because it has like a great graphic on it, a front and a back hit, I figured it would be worth something, but it doesn't really matter because it's gonna be up on whatnot first for $2. Here is the 501s with the button fly and the little booty shorts. Like these have an, maybe a two inch inseam. So there are those. These are also like small. Like small, small. Let's see, what size you are? You are a 24. Yay. 
All right, these are a pair of 505s, I believe. Where, where did they go? Yeah, 505 straight legs. Uh, I pick up women's 505s whenever I find them. These are, this is a black pair. And I pick these up, again, because I pick up the 505s whenever I find them, because they don't make women's 505s anymore. And this is a size, I don't know, hold on. 31 30s, so 31 waist, like 10, 10 or 11, I think, is the size. But they also have cool like little pocket details on the back. And I have really good luck selling a black denim. So I picked these up. It's got like this really interesting embroidery detail on the back. So that I picked up. Here are the Stanford pants by Nike. These are a men's size 2XL. So I picked those up. Now the joggers would, of course, be more on trend for people to just to wear. But these are like a basketball style. It does have a little bit of what looks like wear down here at the bottom, but that's about it. I was so sad. This did not fit me because my butt's too big. It fit here, it fit here. Did not fit my butt and it's also too short because I'm tall. But this is Vintage Bugle Boy, I think from the 80s actually. Bugle Boy collection for her. It is a size small. I think it's like late 80s, early 90s. It is a dress jumper with little front pockets. I'm sure Donna is getting like middle school and high school flashbacks right now. I love this. It's got like the zip front. I think this is so cute. So sad it did not fit me. Um, but yeah, definitely would be able to sell that. I'm sure Karen will look great in it if I have to sell it on eBay. If I get to list it on eBay. This is Oshposh Pagosh. I pick up this whenever I see it at the bins because it is a consistent seller for me. These little overalls. Uh, also, they're super cute. This one has a little reindeer on it. These are also, they're not flannel aligned, thankfully. It'd be too hot for a little kid. But they have little snaps up the bottom. So I will hopefully, do these have a size in them? Who knows? 24 months. So a little baby. Getting in them terrible twos. Alright, I'm also going to offer this up on Whatnot for $2. Uh, you definitely will hit your shipping amount if you, if you decide to get this from me. This is heavy. This is a very heavy tree skirt. Look how big this is. It's just because this flounce is so robust, but this is handmade crocheted tree skirt is super heavy probably like five pounds at least there but yeah I will put that up see if it happens if not I'm more than happy to sell it on eBay and then this is the last thing it's another vintage piece this is probably from late 80s early 90s the brand is match and it's a size women's 18 it's a button front shirt it's made in the USA and this is tensile but this is the most cottage core thing I've ever seen it's got the half sleeve, full button front, beautiful blue dress, long, long maxi dress. Absolutely would be able to sell this, no problem. Now it does have some wear on the elbows and some fading because it is tinsel and it is blue. So I would disclose that, but I don't think that would be a problem at all for me personally to sell this because nobody's really looking at your elbows, but there is that. This is a massive pile, like it is at my hip right now, plus, you know, this. But hopefully I will see you Thursday at 7 p.m., and if not, I hopefully will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and again, if you did not see my last video, this will be the last bins haul for a while. I will still be putting out a haul and then going live on whatnot every Thursday at 7 p.m., but I will be basically doing whatnot shows of free inventory I've been getting and also maybe some of this money pile. So I will see you there uh, or not. You do you. Until then, bye. Bye.